1897, Herbert Dow discovered how to produce chlorine from salt, creating a new industry of chlorine-based products. Chlorine is toxic, and chlorine reactions are the only known source of dioxin. A chemical plant erupts in Nitro, West Virginia, resulting in a colossal dioxin release. This disaster was cleaned up by unfortunate first responders. Rabbits were placed into the allegedly clean area. Those rabbits died immediately. Other rabbits were placed slightly further away from the scene. They died in a matter of hours. These tests were hidden from government and the public. Internal memos confirm this company knew plenty about the danger of dioxin as early as 1949. In 1971, one resident hired a business to spray oil on the dirt roads in Times Beach, Missouri to control the dust in their air. The motor oil was contaminated with dioxin the toxin from a nearby Agent Orange factory. In 1982, high levels were found in soil samples prompting permanent evacuation of Times Beach. The town was declared as a Superfund site, indicating it was one of the most toxic sites in the United States. A Norfolk wreck in Sturgeon, Missouri, spills octachlorophenol, exposing the community to just one single teaspoon worth of dioxin. Everyone was forced to leave town. Monsanto denied dioxin the toxin was part of the spill. Later testing documented extremely high levels. During the trial, lawyer Rex Carr performed legal miracles, resulting in a court order for Monsanto to reveal its secret dioxin research files. Monsanto's chemical engineer testified that for seven years, they dumped 40 pounds of dioxin into the Mississippi River each day from their plant. This continued through 1977. Monsanto secretly tested corpses from dead locals. The test results showed every body contained dioxin. Dioxin was the active ingredient in Lysol disinfectant and other cleaning products. One chemist testified that they knew Lysol is recommended for cleaning baby toys while also knowing it was extremely toxic. Congress passed the Toxic Substance Control Act, giving power to the EPA. This law required companies report dioxin contamination to the government if they discovered it. Despite this, testimony revealed in 1978 that all Monsanto products were contaminated with dioxin still completely unreported to the EPA because they didn't discover it, because they didn't test for it, because it was, quote, dangerous to work with dioxin. They testified further that the EPA didn't need to be notified of their dioxin products because the EPA already knew dioxin was dangerous. This type of broken logic can be found throughout nearly every environmental lawsuit. Monsanto sold dioxin products for 50 years, said their chemist, under oath. Why did Monsanto lie and fail to notify the world about dioxin? He testified that it was, quote, profitable for Monsanto to not inform anyone their products contained dioxin the toxin. <laughs>